everyone. I wanted to do a realistic college morning routine in my life just because I've been seeing a lot of aesthetic morning routines and they, I mean, they're fun. Like, I would love to make an aesthetic one, but in reality, that doesn't really happen every day. And every morning is different, especially in college when your class schedule is different every day. So, I thought I could show what a usual morning in my life looks like. Usually in the morning, I don't like to turn any of the lights on just because it's too bright and I'm just waking up. So I'll open up some of the blinds. I usually fill up my giant water bottle just so I have water to drink. Recently, I've been really liking yogurt for breakfast. So I'm using this banana cream flavored yogurt. And then I pour some cinnamon on it with some granola and some honey. So super easy. Usually while I eat breakfast, I'll kind of go through my email just because you never know if a class was canceled or maybe an assignment was moved up. So I usually just go through my email on my phone and delete anything I don't need because I get a lot of spam emails and then just make sure I still have class today, which I do, sadly. Okay, since I don't drink coffee, usually in the morning I will have some pre-workout because I'm also going to go do a little workout. I really like this. This is the Amino Lean and it's the pink lemonade flavor. It's really good. I've been using it for, I don't even know, a couple months now. This is my second tub of it and really like it. So if you're looking for a little pre-workout or if you like have a little pick-me-up throughout the day, I highly recommend this one. They have a bunch of different flavors, but this is the only one I've tried and I liked it, so I've just stuck with it. I don't have a milk frother, so usually I just take my fork and just mix it. All right, and usually I don't drink this until I've eaten breakfast just because I don't want to drink it on an empty stomach because it is kind of a big punch of caffeine, so cheers. Okay, while my pre-workout is kicking in, it takes like 15 minutes, I like to make my bed and kind of pick up around my room just so it's ready for the day. I try really hard to make my bed every morning, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. You know, if I wake up late or I oversleep, Okay, then usually I like to pick out an outfit to wear to do the little workout in. It's a little chilly today, so I think I might just wear like shorts and a sweatshirt or a hoodie. These gray Lululemon shorts, probably this Nike sports bra. When I first wake up, I don't actually wash my face with like soap or a cleanser. I just use water to rinse it just because after I work out, I usually do my whole skincare routine and I just don't wanna. One, I feel like I'm wasting the products if I'm just gonna go sweat and then I feel like I'm drying out my face just by washing it two times in the morning. So usually I just rinse it, kind of wake myself up with some cold water. Okay, and then next I like to put in my contacts. I wear dailies. Okay, now I can actually see. So I am going to brush up my eyebrows. I don't really like wearing makeup to the gym, but if I have like a spot like this or some flare up, usually I like to cover them up just so I look alive. And I know some people that live in my building and just so they, you know, think I'm okay walking around. And I might just put some concealer on a few spots. My hair wash day is on its way. It's coming, but it's not today. So we're just gonna put it in a ponytail and then we'll probably do the same thing after we work out too. I also want to say that usually, like every morning or even every day, there's not always a routine when you're in school. Um, like I don't work out every day just because you never know what's going on. Like yesterday, I was in class for seven hours. I had a really big test, so I didn't have time to do what I usually like to do. Um, which, yes, you could like make time. I could have woken up a lot earlier, worked out, done everything I wanted. Then you'd be exhausted. But like. 
if I have a really big test that day or a presentation or maybe a meeting with some classmates before school, usually my time is kind of limited. On those days, you're just kind of trying to get through school. But like today, that's one of my easier days. I only have one class today and it doesn't start till mid-afternoon. Since I'm a senior, all my classes are upper level. Um, majority of them are in the late afternoon or even at night. It's about 9.30 right now, so I've been up for like an hour. I try to wake up around 8, 8.30. I like to wake up a couple hours before my day starts just so I have time to get any last minute studying done, turn anything in, check my email, or you know, just prepare for the day. But today we have a little extra time, so we're gonna go do a little workout. I have a gym in my apartment building, so I'm just gonna go down there. And I'll probably walk for like 30 minutes just to get the blood pumping and then maybe do like a little ab workout after. If I was really busy today, say I had a quiz or a test later today, I would probably pull up a study guide on my phone and then like put it on the treadmill and study. That sounds kind of intense, but it also helps like relieve the stress of having to study or worry about something. And while I'm walking, like I'm already listening to music or a podcast so I can just look at whatever I need for the day and it helps me just go through things. And while I'm on the treadmill, like I can't really leave. So I like have to look at it. That's a little tip that I have. So if you can pull it up on your phone, Maybe it's a Quizlet or a study guide or a reading for that day. Like for me, I have a lot of case readings I have to do for my negotiations class. So I like to pull them up on my phone and I'll just read through them while I'm walking so I feel more prepared for the class. <sighs> okay, usually after I work out, I either like sit on the floor or I'll sit on my balcony. Or I'll just sit in my chair and just kind of take a moment to breathe and then chug this water. And I'm also a little sweaty, so I like don't want to get in bed. And if I take a shower right now, I'll still be sweating. So I just kind of wait until I cool off and then I'll get ready for the day. Okay, I'm just getting dressed. I just threw on a sweatshirt and then I'm gonna wear some jeans. These are the Gap 90s loose and mid-rise and they're a dark denim or like black jeans. Usually for class I try to dress as casual as possible just because you're sitting all day, you don't know what the building is gonna be like, it could be hot, it could be cold. Usually like if you're running late, you're like sweating from walking or running to your class. So I try to dress pretty casual and comfy. Today I only have one class, so I don't have to be in school for that long. But yesterday I was at school for seven hours. So usually I'll wear like shorts and a sweatshirt because the buildings are sometimes cold. The only time I actually dress up for class as if I have a presentation because we have to wear suits for the business school. Okay, since I washed my face in the shower, I'm just doing my skincare, which is one step in the morning. It's just this moisturizer from Vanna Cream. If you have really sensitive skin or like eczema or dermatitis, I really like this one. My skincare routine has become very simple, especially in school. Like when you just don't have time or you're tired, simple is usually better. All right, now that this moisturizer has sit for a little bit, I'm gonna go in with my ice roller. This is the Skinny Confidential. Um, I've been using this for a couple years and I really like it. It just squeaks, so it's not very aesthetically pleasing. I don't know why it squeaks, it just does. So I'm gonna roll up my face. Okay, now I usually just do a really simple makeup routine. So I go in with some sunscreen. And then I'll mix in some of these Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. Any spots that need extra coverage, I just go in with some concealer. And then I put it underneath my eyes to look more awake. I don't wear makeup every day to class, but if I have time, I like to wear it just because I feel a little bit more put together. Sometimes I feel like if I feel better, maybe I'll actually pay attention in class, but that doesn't always happen. And then usually on class days, I just like wearing lip balm so my lips aren't crusty. I'm almost out of this. I need to get some more. I don't even know if it's in the center. It's okay. Sometimes I kind of pull it over here so it doesn't matter. All right, and then I usually just grab my backpack and then make sure I have everything I need. So my AirPods and then I have my wallet and my keys, lip balm. And if I was in class for a long time, usually I would pack 
snacks in here so i'm usually hungry throughout the day i also bring my water bottle always bring your charger because you just never know if your laptop is going to act up or if it's going to die or someone else might need it usually before i put my laptop away i just double check that everything is good for class today i actually had an assignment due i'm just double checking that's all good and then i can turn it in and then i'll just kind of go through my dashboard on canvas and make sure there's nothing that i missed because that would be terrible looks like we're good to go my laptop is charged and ready for class so usually i just bring this with me um, last year i had classes where technology wasn't allowed so you had to use a notebook and like pens and paper i like bringing paper with me just in case something happens with my laptop but most of the time in school everyone just takes notes on their computer unless you like writing then it usually just depends some teachers don't allow technology i had one law class where she you couldn't have a phone a kindle a laptop an ipad you can have anything it was all handwritten which is fine but with the law class it's just so much she was evil so it's okay most of the time professors encourage laptops but it's easy to get distracted so i do play wordle a lot in class but that's only like for five minutes all right, I'm gonna head out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a college morning routine in my life. I tried to show as much as I could and make sure it was realistic. Like, I don't know, every morning is different. So when you see someone that wakes up at 5.30 in the morning, maybe they have an 8 a.m. Or if you see someone that wakes up at 12, maybe they have night classes. So it's just different for everyone. It just depends and do what works best for you. But I'm gonna head to class. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one.